now that we have the third combo, I want more movement. I don't want it to just stand there and, and just fall. So let me exit play mode. I want to add more hang time when he goes into the smash motion. So first let me get into the states folder. Before I do anything, let me organize the folders first. There's too many files now. I'm going to put them into folders. So jump. All the jump files goes into jump. Jab files goes into jab. Uppercut goes into uppercut. Smash goes into smash. Now inside the smash folder, I want to add a jump ability to add some hang time. So I'm going to say player smash prep jump. And I don't want it to have any pull force. So I'll make it zero on both sides. And I'm just going to try 120 as a force that pushes the player up a little bit when he goes into the prep motion here. I'm just going to add the jump ability. Okay, and since the timing is zero, it's going to jump immediately. Let me play and test it. So if I go into the smash, there's a bit of hang time now. Looks all right. I also want some forward movement, so I'm going to create move forward obviously so smash prep move forward it's going to be a constant no matter what you press and i want it to be a decrease maybe 0 0.5 as in 50 percent and make it something like this speed i'm just going to try five block distance 0 0.5 one, I guess. And again, I'm going to add the ability to the prep. Let me just drag it in. Okay. And let's see what happens when I click play. Okay. Looks all right. Except it feels like the player is floating. I don't want it to float. I want it to smash down to the ground. So let me exit play mode. I don't know if you remember the gravity pull that we deleted from the jump ability. Um, first, let me just create a new script. State scripts. And I'm going to say gravity pull. Go in there. I'm going to press Control T, get the jump script. I'm going to copy jump into gravity pull and change the name. And I'm going to get rid of the jump script. Except I want the gravity here. So I'm going to delete everything except for the gravity pull, which is going to pull the player towards the ground. So I'm going to delete everything else. And after the animation, I want the gravity pull back to zero. If I save and go back to Unity, I'm going to go into the Smash folder. And I'm going to create the new ability that we just wrote. Gravity pull. Again, smash prep gravity pull. Mm. I don't want it 
to be too strong. So let me just try 0 to 0 0.2. So it's going to be an increase as time goes, kind of like gaining momentum. And again, I'm going to go into the animator, prep, and add the gravity pull. Again, click play and let's see what happens. So he falls faster, maybe not fast enough. I think the jump might be too strong here. Let me just make it a hundred and I want to make the gravity a little stronger. Maybe 0 0.3. something like that. Let's try again. Okay, looks all right. I think the gravity is too strong. I don't want it pulling it way too hard. 0 0.25 might be right. Like that a little better. I also went want to make it smoother from fall to smash prep. Oops. Something like this. Let's try it again. I also want the player to hold a little longer when he finishes. So let me try 80% here. Okay. Let me maximize. There's still a lot of polishing left to do. Things like registering the attack. You can't kill anybody with this yet. You can kill him with the uppercut, but not the smash. And we also gotta add new things like visual effects, camera shake, and maybe a little more fine tuning. But for this video, I'm happy that I added the forward movement and a bit of hang time. So that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.